is up everybody so I just wanted to bring this video to you guys uh, to help a few of you out there and I see on Facebook all the time people talking about adding lights to their kayak um, you know and so this is a pretty good system to help you do that um, this is the yak power this is not the wireless one this is the regular one but I did put um, a little something on there that will help you guys use a phone app as well as a remote uh, control so uh, stay tuned and you know I got some pretty cool little nuggets in this video that you guys might want to check out um, but also subscribe and hit the like button and let's check out the yak power okay so we are going over the yak power um, also if you guys don't mind hitting that subscribe button there's quite a few people watching but are not subscribers um, so if you can just hit subscribe real quick it would help me out a lot and it keep me you know motivated to keep doing these videos um, I know there's other ones out there, but, um, you know, I think sometimes, you know, just watching different people's, um, setups and stuff gives you different ideas. So it's good to watch multiple ones, not just, you know, one, but, um, so yeah, hit that like button as well. Appreciate it. And comment below. I like to interact with a lot of you guys. Kind of why I do this. I don't even do this for money. I do this just to, you know, be part of the community and, you know, make my own little community kind of my own, my own friends on my own channel and that type of stuff. So, and I've already met quite a few people doing this, so. Anyway, um, this is my feel free. This is a 2021 um, 13.5 lure V2. It's the V2. And um, that's what we're putting the Yak Power on, or I already did put it on. This isn't one of those videos where I show you guys every single little part and then I walk you through, you know, I'm just basically going to go over what I've already installed. So that way it makes it a quicker video and, you know, you guys don't get bored and, um, you know, you can just see it done pretty quick. So. But it comes with the relay box, comes with the control um, panel there, as well as a bunch of different um, accessories and stuff, you know, these little flush mounts that you can put into the kayak and plug things into, and just all kinds of different, um, different things that you could use. So, uh, by the way, these stickers are not stuck on there. I know someone's gonna ask, but they're, they're gonna go on the side of my trailer. Um, but so anyway, uh, the way I have my, Mine set up is right here I have a 10 amp lithium battery. Um, I believe this is a 15 amp fuse that kind of just protects the whole overall relay box. But I also have a fuse on each individual power depending on what it's going to. Um, this here allows my Yak power to be controlled by a remote or, um, or uh, phone app. So there's an app that you can download and you can you know, use, use the app that way. So um, all these wires, you know, shoot to the back there. You can pull them forward and replace the fuses if you need to. Super easy. Um, and so the way I have it set up over here, I'm not real stoked on this because it just see it's a little bulky to me. So, um, but it's never been in the way. But I just I don't I, I don't want to uh, cut a you know a, whatever two inch hole or whatever it is in my kayak to install this. So I just put it there for now until I figure it out. Um, but you got to turn it on to get it started if you want to use the remote this here's the remote and uh, these things are known for not working properly it seems that when the battery is sitting in the controller for too long the controller somehow pulls power from it and kills it so that's one of the things that happen but also sometimes the relay gets confused and so what I found is that by holding the button down for a long period of time maybe like you know 10 to 20 seconds and then letting it go and then if you have to do it again but usually after you know, I've never had to do it more than two times but then after that everything will start working again so um, with that on we can go ahead and hit M this is my mid lights here see they come on pretty fast I got one down here one here one here kind of lights up the uh, cockpit pretty good and then we got the stern so there you go so I hit the stern stern doesn't want to come on you can see the blue button coming on too. So what we're going to do is hold it down. I'll be damned. And there you go. And it comes on. So, and I got four back here. One there, one there, one there. So yeah, so sometimes the buttons get a little messed up. I don't use this too much. I use that there or my phone app. So it's really not a big deal. But then after you get the dang thing to wake up, it comes on. Oh my gosh. All right, well, I'm gonna have to play with that a little bit more because it ain't working right. Okay. 
All right, and then so, um, and then I have on the controller here, I have a B, and so I use that for a battery box. This is my battery box for my two graphs here. Um, two 30 amps going here. I have a 20 amp in right now, but two 30 amps. Right now it's just one 30 amp. As soon as the live scope gets on here, I'm going to have two 30 amps if I get the live scope. Um, battery comes right on, boom. And then uh, number one is my navigation lights. So they come on. I'm actually going to get some brighter ones. These ones do okay, but I, there's some brighter ones that I'd rather have. And then number two is my navigation for the back. So, um, But that's pretty much it for the Yak Power. There's not really a whole lot involved in it. Um, you can get an extension wire to, or to extend the, the controller box to the back. So that's what I did. I got an extension wire. And then I also got the thing for the remote. Um, but yeah, it works really well. Let me turn the lights off here real quick. And... Uh, I'll show you guys. What's up, puppy, puppy? Yeah, okay, here we go. So there's the mid lights there. Yeah. Looks really cool at nighttime with this thing cruising down, cruising down the water, pulling up to the dock. I get a lot of compliments on it. So it seems like my, my uh, stern button is having some. Okay, there it goes. Now it's back. So. Um, yeah, there we go. So yeah, the number two works for the navigation pole, but also for the it works also as the uh, GoPro pole. So, but anyway, you guys, that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's making these videos pretty quick because I know you guys don't want them all drawn out. Um, but yeah, pick up the Yak Power. They even make um, some uh, a Bluetooth one that is wireless. I think it is, so you don't have to connect all these wires and stuff. But I heard there's connectivity issues with it and stuff, and heard about issues with this one too, but I haven't seen them so. Um, but anyway, you guys take it easy. Again, hit the subscribe button and uh, hope to see you guys around.